it's an honor to care for people you love and it, it's hard and you you, you know, end that journey with some scars that stay with you. Dr. Sharon Cohen knows firsthand how difficult it can be to see the people you love slowly slip away. They developed Alzheimer's disease when I was already a neurologist uh, studying dementia care. Her father, Martin, was a mathematician and loved to play the piano. Her mother, Donya, an author and passionate poet. There's nothing nice about Alzheimer's. Um, and I, th I think of them a lot, even though it's too late for them. I feel like they would be thrilled to know there's something for next generations. The disease is tricky. It's complex. Come on forward. But a new technology is showing significant promise. The goal is to get ahead of a diagnosis, and optometrists may have a key role to play. My role in this has been to help screen patients, especially the patients over the age of 55 who have some kind of memory loss or memory changes. The process will be familiar to most of us, just like having your eyes checked, a flash, a few pictures, and the results are ready to be analyzed. An AI algorithm reads and analyzes the scans. The results are shared with family doctors who help patients understand them. So if we look at the back of the eye, we're able to see the front part of the brain and we can look for these biomarkers and changes that may be occurring in the brain. The biomarker is a protein. It is the first measurable sign of the disease. So no clinician can look in the back of your eye and determine if you have the signs of Alzheimer's disease. But with the special sensor that we use and the algorithm, we're able to, with very strong reliability, uh, determine who does and does not have that protein. The hope is for patients to also talk about changes in their memory with their eye doctor. And one. The technology is not widely available and still needs approval from Health Canada. Developers say they would like to see it rolled out by 2025. Doctors say it's an encouraging step forward for a disease that has already taken so much. This provides huge hope for people that we're not just trying to patch up symptoms. We're getting at the underlying disease. We can slow it down. We can keep people functioning longer, keep them milder in the community with their families, keep people with mild cognitive impairment uh, at that stage longer rather than having them progress to dementia. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.